All right, so we're going to look at some auto loans here. And Molly is going to be um, trading in her car to get a Jeep Patriot. So in looking at this, the uh, price right here, the sticker price for the latitude that she wants is $25,495. Now there's some financing options, 0% APR for 36 months. So that's only three years. Um, and then she's going to get a $1,500 cash allowance. That's going to make a high monthly payment because the term is only three years. Now, if you look here, 1.9% for 84 months, if you take 84 and divide it by 12, that's a seven-year loan. So you're going to end up paying that 1.9% per year for seven years and then divide that by the 84 months. So for this activity, we're going to assume that Molly is going to pay the exact MSRP, um, which is not likely to be true, but we'll uh, save that for simplicity. So in looking at this, we ran her credit history and the year um, with the year's worth of student loan payment, the deal was qualified for well-qualified buyers. The best deal they can give you is 5.6 months for 60 or 5.6 percent for 60 months. So there's also a little bit bad news. The Cash allowance is based on credit history. So she doesn't qualify for the 500, but they can do 400 for her. So Molly still has a $2,500 uh, dollar, uh, down payment. So how much does she need? So if we look at that, we can take 25,495, subtract off the uh, 2,500 down payment, and then subtract off the $400 cash allowance. So I'm going to just use a calculator here. And that gives us 22595 So in looking at this, we need to figure out, well, what's her monthly payment going to be? So this is going to be an exponential equation. The initial value is 22,595 times we do the 5.6% added to 100, 100%, which is 105.6%. And then we change that to a decimal. So that ends up being 1.05 and then six. And then we raise that, so I'm gonna put raise it to the um, number of years that that is. So a 60 months, if you take 60 and divide it by 12, that gives us five years. So this is gonna give us a total amount of our loan And that gives us uh, $31,332.56. Now, what we do is take that and divide it by the 60 months. So 31,332.56, and then divide that by 60. And that gives us... $522.21. So in looking at this, to calculate the total interest, we would take her total amount that she spends, $31,332.56, and then subtract $22,595. And that would give us $8,737.56 in just interest. So that's how much uh, the financing bank is making off of her. Now, when she adds up all of her payments, how much will the cost of the car be? Well, we could take the 522.21 
and multiply that by 60. So I'm going to put star 60, that means times. And that gives us 31,332.6. So that's the amount of the car with interest. And if you notice, that's a little bit off because of some rounding error.